right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Armin. <laughs> I'm Jacob. Wow. And I'm I'm burnt. I'm dead. I'm dead inside. I'm dead on the outside. Everything is pain. Everything is hurting. And why are we here, Jacob? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. <laughs> Just to suffer. Y'all, I don't know if Every you can night. notice, but something's wrong with my face. I kind of stayed outside for too long playing Ultimate Frisbee. Because I have a problem. <laughs> and yeah. Now I was. I was, uh. <laughs> Cooked. Yeah. First I was afraid, then I was petrified. No, yeah. I, 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 I'm. I'm. I'm burnt. I'm burnt mm -hmm. up. And yes, and all my ability to emote without pain is. is it will gone. be, like, down here. All, and... all this jaw action right here. Exactly. Because you know, everything like else that. is just pain. Yeah, like anytime like you do think that. it was three days grace or something, um, <laughs> but so so this episode, this episode, this episode, episode eighteen, episode eighteen, yes, because yes, it is episode eighteen. Um, we'll get to deal with the aftermath of everything that happened last episode. <laughs> potentially, which like should be awesome. Potentially, like five named characters all dead. Should we and, go through the list? Yeah, so so we have we have Marlo, which you know he, he he's a good boy. He's probably just dead. He, he's probably just dead though. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. Then I would say next uh, highest up on our list is uh, uh, probably Armin. Like in terms of just like the the actual showcasing of the body being, of how much like, they are not destroyed. alive. Like. Yeah. <laughs> then the next highest one I would say is probably Reiner because he got exploded <laughs> and on some level we shouldn't see necessarily that much body remains right but, but the you know thing is stuff the thing maybe. is i would say all the rest of them are just kind of tied up there at the top because either they're titans or they have eyebrows that can like move you know a human move the human race yeah, and carry them upon oh boy upon their glorious illustrious ah! don't, don't push yourself yeah so yeah, yeah. <laughs> predictions jacob i think that at the very least we're going to connect things back to the ed scene um from episode 12 mm. at the end of part one of season three yeah and we're going to have like explicit stuff regarding what levi does with the uh the titan hmm. juice interesting and, Yes, as as I discussed previously on some level, I think it would be a bit silly, but maybe, maybe they're going to pull something of, wait, what if we take the syringe and only put half of it in each one of them, and we have two titans left over here, ow, and we can, we can have them chomp chomp on a... I don't know why I did this for Chomp Chomp. I, y'all, like this is messing yeah. with my yeah. mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but it it I'm sure it will be uh quite a lot of fun yeah. to to see, and I will I will laugh at all the times you flinch in pain. Yeah. Uh, when when this draws although, reactions. Out although I'm 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 just gonna say I'm just gonna say this this whole like setup that we have here is payoff after in a lot of ways the payoff if that makes sense. Mm. So there's a lot of things that need to like, like f they need to follow up on here basically, mm. because if you have the previous episode where like everyone died <laughs> and then this episode happens and they don't do too much, you know, they do like, mm. you know, kind of a lot more kind of recap things. Sure. I, mm -hmm. I feel like that would feel like they're, delaying out things and stuff so like make big decisions here this is this is the point where it's like hey the beast titan ran uh-huh you know levi is not gonna have trouble defeating those titans that were sent no, after no. him by by zeke and stuff it's if reiner or berthold yeah. at all are like it's like we're back <laughs> like, no i'll get a no. lesson in <laughs> no I'd buy that they are like on their way to regenerating over mm. a long period of time from like the but their chunks that are you know there like if Reiner is basically just a head now and uh -huh. like some spinal right, cord right. like stuff coming out, but he's like slowly regenerating. Yeah, just that make would be some awesome. Stakes, you know, yeah, yeah just make exactly. Some but 
Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. depending on what also happens here, if they go through a lot, we could, like, end with them, like, at the basement. Like, that's how, that's how crazy this, <laughs> this knows? episode could be. Who knows? Y'all. Who knows? Y'all. Ah, I certainly don't. Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, we're going to be starting the episode in five, four, three, two, one, now. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Okay. He's down. Armin. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Reiner's still alive. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, crap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. Dang! Oh, shoot! <gasps> oh, Levi! Wow. To rescue you. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, you're kidding me. A freaking, like, you... You kidding me? He what? What? No! No! That's literally what I said. I yeah. did have him just uh -huh. kind of go <laughs> like what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, Here's Reiner. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Oh, she wasn't going to torture him. She was going to kill him. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Oh. <sighs> Oh my god. Mm hmm. Wow.
<laughs> Eventually, right? But what happens in the meantime? Wow, they're mm -hmm. like, everyone's on the same page with this. Yep. Whoa. Oh, oh boy. Wow. Mm hmm. Wow. Uh-huh. Okay. Dang. <sighs> oh, because of... Yep. Mikasa! Oh my god. Uh. Yep. Oh, yeah. dang, uh -huh. without even a second yep. thought. Whoa! Uh, oh, come uh, on! Reiner got away again? Wow! Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow, here we are. Uh-huh. Here we are. Oh, that's yep. that's that's what does it. Yep. That's what does it. Oh, I could never choose. But but it has to be Armin. It has to be Armin. No, it has to be Armin. Here's Oh, I'm. Oh, that's why Mikasa gets pissed. Mm. 
No. 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 You mistake this. Aaron can save humanity. That's why Armin. Yep. Oh. <laughs> over and over and over again. Yes, you were. Yeah. Oh, here we are. This is it. This is it. Oh. Crap, here we go. Yep. You yep, thought yep, yep, this yep, is yep, over yep, now. Yep. This is over. Armin is our future. Yeah. 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 Oh. No. Wow. Yep. Wow. Oh, Hanji, no. No, 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 no. Oh.
No. 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 He could, he could. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this is, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Stop. No, don't. <laughs> oh, Armin wasn't with him in the first episode of season three, you know. Mm -hmm. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. No. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. God, why? She Yeah, that oh that repeat shot. Oh. Oh. This is even hard for Levi now. They're trying yeah. to make us Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow, mm -hmm. nice. Yep. What? Yeah. 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 Whoa.
No way. He's gonna do Armin instead. He's gonna do Armin instead. He's gonna do Armin instead. Oh. He did Armin, yes! Oh. 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 Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. How far have we come in this yeah, show? I know, right? I know. Oh my God. Here we are seeing Armin, mm -hmm. Armin emerge from a Titan. Okay. I I I'm sad that we're going to lose Erwin. I just can't believe that we actually got Armin back. Like this felt like a a debate with an like a like a montage of just things happening, you know. Ugh. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. We actually got Armin back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Freaking Reiner, though. I know. Escaping I know. again. The yep. same way the Beast Titan did. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. Ugh. I just noticed that they didn't play the ED, I mean, the OP in this, uh, this episode. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Wow. <sighs> we got freaking Armin. Yeah. Yep. And. Mm hmm. Um, yep. Yep. K. Bertel. Mm hmm. And guys, like. Yeah. Like. Uh, I can't. I can't help but feel this mixture of guilt mm -hmm. and, like. Elation. Elation, yeah. Yeah. That's a perfect way to describe it. Because Yep. Yep. Because I already lost oh. Erwin a while ago, it felt like. Sure. When he led that charge, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm dying with you, buddy. Like that yeah. that was it. Yep. And Armin was the one that you weren't ready for though. Armin was the one I wasn't ready for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they basically gave this whole thing of hey, hey, hey you know, they actually did their plan and they got you know, Reiner and Berthold here. Yep. I'm mm -hmm. like thinking, could there be a happy ending out of this? And it's like, well, yes, there are multiple, kind of. there are multiple potential endings here. Mm hmm. Yep. But I could not have seen the one where they basically were debating us into thinking that they were going to do Erwin 
like all the way right up until the last second. Right. And the thing is, is that in, in from from one perspective, I could see that being something that's like kind of disappointing because it's like, OK, come on. And then you go with Armin, you know, because he's more of a main character than Erwin or, you know, or whatever. Um, sure. Uh, or, or just so that Aaron and Mikasa can be happy kind of a thing. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> there's actual validity, though, to keeping Aaron happy. That's true. Just, just say that is like, true. If you if you're gonna look at this from like the uh-huh. eh, this doesn't fit story wise or this doesn't fit tactical mm-hmm. assessment wise, mm-hmm. like as a soldier, Levi should pick the the seasoned battle right. commander. And he was like, you know, the the yeah. But even then, even then, I still think, I still think Armin was the right choice. Mm. I still mm. think Armin was the right choice. The the tough thing that you can never really know is what actions will be taken you know by armin in the in right. the future mm-hmm. that could have been maybe you know exchanged for actions that erwin would have done Th- yeah. that's just all kinds of things we could never really know to be fair armin's but, probably less of a gambler than erwin so like but yes yes but it's more of a delayed investment for you know bringing back armin yes and mm-hmm. Yeah, and specifically, specifically with them bringing back Armin, mm-hmm. the thing I see being the most interesting, not just from a tactical perspective but from a story perspective, is that we finally get someone else going through what Aaron went through, and yeah. we get to have them interact with each other through that. Oh, There's boy. so many cool things that can come from this. Yep. Yeah, um, a ton of things. I, 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 I'm, I'm floored that we're actually here because right. there's, there's, there's one thing I think they're, they're kind of insinuating a little bit with the whole thing of, oh, we can steal uh, Titan powers. Mm-hmm. Well, I was more under the assumption that it was something like you turn into a, 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 a Titan that can transform into, you know, uh huh, transform into, uh, you know, a human again. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. And based on just who you are mm-hmm. and, you know, what you look like, that's your Titan, basically. Right. But in this, they're making it seem like like there's some power associated kind of specifically the, with it. The reason why they know that is because of the whole thing with Aaron's dad eating um, Frida right, R- Frida, mm-hmm. and, and the whole thing that they would do to pass on the power of the, you know, the 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 titan right but that the, was like that was eyes like and everything but that was like a that was like a that was like a that was like a godlike special ability thing like if anything the titans are just difference in size basically so is that what they're meaning basically that like like on some level like if they sure, so yeah. Reiner they would like not ever chance upon getting oh we rolled a colossal titan you know no it's like it like it's one hundred percent going to be like a who knows? Uh, uh, this sized, you know, like right. It's it's well. It's the thing of it's the thing of the, the coordinate was passed yeah. by eating. Yeah, and the rice family. I think it's rice or rice. Because someone was reminding me in Ruby Weiss's name is spelled the same way, just with a W. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. But the point is yeah. that that family was going to eat Aaron to get his Titan powers. Well, that Back. was they. They were trying to get the the coordinate, uh, right? They were trying to get the coordinate, yes. which is which is the thing, sure. which right? Is right. The, so, so it's which an assumption that right. So it's an assumption that the that the the Titan powers transfer in the same way that the coordinate transfers. Gotcha. Yeah. So is Armin going to be the colossal Titan? <laughs> I think it's actually poetically genius. Because have you have the smallest, the smallest guy uh-huh. becoming the, yep. the, the yep. giant one there. Even Although, if they didn't, though, just having Armin be the one mm-hmm. that took down the Colossal Titan mm-hmm. is very fitting. And that he ended up eating the Colossal Titan, you know, even if... Wait, no. Armin's strategy took down the Colossal right. Titan. Right, yeah, exactly. You know, he, he, he went up against the Colossal Titan head-to-head, basically. And, right, and, and because and of that, it was able to be taken that, down. Even if Aaron was the one who, you know, who actually cut Bertolt out of the neck. Right. Um, Either yeah. way, I I would prefer it if it's something where, like, regardless of whether or not there's any like actual ability or something like that, that Armin's Titan looks 
unique like looks looks at the very least like like oh that's armin in there sure uh-huh. you know? yeah like yeah. that's that's something that I'm, I'm really interested in um big other reveal this episode mm-hmm. uh zeke knew grisha jaeger yes and in fact is or was because grisha's dead uh antagonistic towards grisha jaeger in a way mm-hmm. that was yep. not always antagonistic. Oh, because like the whole brainwash, the thing, whole brainwashing, thing. right? That's that's implying the whole idea of ah, uh, there was once trust, but you know, right? Basically, that that there was a there was a war of ideas mm-hmm. and beliefs, and Zeke lost that. Right, Zeke lost that battle of ideas of mm-hmm. of, of of beliefs to uh to grisha and they did a little thing with like the the glasses a little transition there oh and uh-huh. what was kind of cool with that was that it kind of made it seem like they were trying to denote that they had like a connection or that at the very least like they they looked similar and stuff right, like that like he was his protege kind of a thing or... right or he sees his father kind of in in zeke in a way mm-hmm. um but the thing that's like like I don't think they're necessarily trying to point at any like very like obvious connection there, mm-hmm. but I think that what they're more seeding here is kind of the thing that I've been slowly kind of realizing and starting to percolate in my brain with how much story mm-hmm. foundation for Attack on Titan hinges upon stuff that Grisha Jaeger did in the past. Yes. Like, it's yes. actually staggering. Mm-hmm. And the idea that right yep. now, yep. you know, at the most recent part in the story, we're getting more added on to Grisha's plate of, right. he also did this, and he did uh-huh. this. And yeah. it's like, yeah. what didn't this guy do? What the heck? Like, yeah, I mean, we're, who knows? Like, who we're, knows? we're almost at the point where they're going to go full, like, FMAB, and it's like, this is a very definite, you know kind of <laughs> pun intended fmab sins of the father oh you know kind uh-huh. of thing you know like like if you think about if Ming. you think about like where we're where we're at right now uh-huh we've closed off in a lot of ways the whole humanity in the walls and the secrets of the walls and kind of the that whole thing being a a thing where humanity is on the brink of civil war at like any day because of either food shortages, government, uh, you know, dictatorial right? They've overthrown the government and all that. Yeah, they they did all that like mm-hmm. lightning fast, right? And now we're here and we're about to like go to the basement. I mean, that's kind of all there is left. And that's Grisha Jaeger. Uh huh. Like, and then they're ki- yeah. building yeah. up more Grisha Jaeger. Mm-hmm. It's basically them saying like. So are you ready? Are you ready to yeah. have this world like ripped open and got like even bigger? Like while the while the the Armin stuff is crazy about what it means, uh-huh. it's so open ended in that we have another Titan, y'all. Uh-huh. Like like kind of a big deal. Kind of big deal. It's yeah. almost mm-hmm. to the point of where they're basically saying like we have enough just with just with the two of them uh-huh. if if armin ends up becoming you know competent with his with mm-hmm. his uh, ability to use the the titan and stuff then then they can go and set out and like go out like like who could who could stop them like like who knows? like like in some ways this is that moment when you're playing you know age of empires and you just kicked <laughs> you just kicked the ass of the army that came to attack you oh uh-huh. and then you monk converted like all their war elephants now you're like and now mm. you're like war elephants go yeah go and that monk will just follow right behind them right Ooh. healing them back up yeah <laughs> and then by the time the war elephants eventually reach you know uh you know the other the other city, the other, the other place, 
I mean, I mean, like, yo, we could be, like, humanity on the offensive in, like, a few months. Like, like, that's how, that's how crazy this is. All so, I'll say is, like, I am, I am so excited for the remainder of this season because the fact that it's been moving this fast. Right. Like, these 18 episodes of season three covered so much of the manga. Oh, so much. Like, oh, so you don't have a very clear point as to where it's going to end? I have some ideas, and that terrifies me. Like, wait, so <sighs> is it more of a thing of, like, you thought it was going to be something, and now you're like, wait, no, that's too soon. Well, And now there's things that are like, wait, wait. I you mean, know. I don't really want to say, but it's just... there. It's going to be good, like... Like the fact, the fact, okay. the fact that like this is our third season, like just Attack on Titan, man. Like this show, this show, all three seasons put together is oh. gonna be such like I mean it already is, but like such a amazing package of just excellent storytelling. I can't wait to see how they do it and how they animate everything, and yeah, it's it's gonna be wonderful. So, so this whole this whole exchange here, mm -hmm. Mikasa, Aaron, Levi, mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the the scout that survived, mm -hmm. yeah, um, Hanji, yeah. What was it like when you first experienced it? <sighs> A lot of tears. Um, who did you want to survive? I wanted everyone to survive. Wow, it was the thing yeah. of like I. I okay. kind of figured they were going to do Armin, you know, because mm -hmm. they have been like bringing in Armin as like the the next Irwin kind of a thing. They've been right. grooming that for a long time. Right. Like, like if, if Mikasa is the equivalent for Levi, you know, the Hanji Aaron comparison doesn't work quite as no, well. No, no, no. But, Aaron doesn't have you know. a comparison. That's, right. That's exactly. The point. And that's why He's they're the doing that. character. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I, I, it's like I knew they were going to do that, but I, I, I didn't want them to, but at the same time, Armin's Armin's way that he went out was absolutely fantastic. So, because mm -hmm. the thing is, is that yeah. it wasn't just that it wasn't just that someone died, right? Right. Because Attack on Titan does that all the time. Yeah. And it wasn't just that it's like, okay, we're gonna have a character death in here because we haven't had a main character death in a while. Yeah. But they they dwelled on it. They showed how it affected the other people. They made it a psychological thing where it's you know, okay, we have to choose, yeah. right? And we really do have to choose. Like it's it's in our hands. There's no there's no question about it, right? We really could save either. Mm hmm Yeah. And it's not so clear cut. Would yeah. Irwin maybe have been the better choice? Possibly. Who knows? You know, who's to say? <sighs> but, you know, yeah, you can't just make decisions based on logic. Yeah. That's not how people work. Yeah, I think I think part of the thing about this whole decision thing is that mm -hmm. I understand why both have merits for being the the right choice mm -hmm. basically. And you could argue probably for both for either or that one has more merit than the other. Sure. I, I don't dispute that. Um my thing I think that's really important to just keep in mind here, though, is that it's going to be Aaron that saves humanity. And this isn't just some main character protagonist kind of thing where it's like, mm -hmm. you know, he's... But there's a reason the main character is the main character. It's because no, it's the this story of the... Yes, sure, mm -hmm. but but no, no. The, the, the reason why Aaron is going to be the one to save humanity in not the main character way and not the the story is about him because he's the main character the way is what Aaron brought up in this episode is that he is the one that has the 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 dream the, the dreams now the thing is i think he got those dreams in a lot of ways because from of Armin. Armin. yeah yeah mm -hmm. but what's important to bring up here is that the one that then went and carried those dreams and believed in them and basically is now mm -hmm. you know this this screaming spear of humanity basically going forth uh -huh. cutting through whatever right is because they believed in someone else's dream and i think what's what's important there is that it doesn't matter where the dream originated it doesn't matter 
who held it first or who conceived the dream. Anyone who basically is willing to bear the burden and run with the torch, basically, of the, the uh-huh. dream of humanity and just just go for it and just basically do the, the sacrifice thing, mm-hmm. basically the, the Irwin Armin thing. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that are going to save humanity. And mm-hmm. in some ways, I think, yes, Irwin could have done that. But when Levi thought back on what their dreams were, Mm -hmm. and how their dreams were separate. What I liked about that was that you could see it as kind of being the cheesy thing of him kind of thinking back on the the things that maybe tugged at his emotional heartstrings and also maybe the thing Mm -hmm. of saying how he was like, you know, do your damnedest basically to do your best, and if so, you know, screw your dream. Die for the Mm -hmm. the sake of... Right. for For the sake of this cause and stuff. Armin's dream is more intangible. It goes beyond kind of the desires sure. that he has for himself. It's it now there are desires for himself like in there. Specific obviously. things like seeing the sea. It's like seeing the sea. Yeah. But his is more about the pure freedom of being able to see the sea. Being able to have that. And I, I think that hmm. I think that I think that Irwin's maybe in some ways I really like the idea that Irwin Sure. Yeah, I love that. that. As if he's that. basically saying, "No, I'm not the right choice." Well, like, like he wasn't even conscious at that. Moment. Yeah. Uh huh. Like and 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 it's not like he was raising his hand to you know swipe swat swat away the the syringe. You know, it was, right? It was because he was still back in know, back that memory, in that memory, raising you know, his hand, asking his dad exactly. the question, and the idea that that he was so he was so mm-hmm. bursting to an- to ask that question that. He had to throw his hand up even mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Um, yeah. That I I absolutely loved that because it, it made it so that that way it was sort of a, it was a plausible, like, act of God kind of a thing that would sway Levi's decision from what it would absolutely otherwise be, which is save Irwin. Right. Um because yeah. otherwise, it, otherwise it would have felt totally contrived. And, and you know, you can say, like, was well, it realistic that, you know, that happened, whatever? And, it's, 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 you know. We're dealing with people eating other people to turn into bigger people. Exactly. Like, and it's like something it, that ties yeah. into Irwin's characterization and everything, and Levi's as well, by extension. So, And I like that we yeah. get to know what the exact verbiage of the question was, mm-hmm. because it was more or less questions that he had surrounding the outside world, not right. exactly the specifics about, mm-hmm. like, how yeah. do we know whether or not there are people, you know, outside right. the walls? And it's yeah. like uh, such a good question. Mm-hmm. But Armin's, I think, is something about this world, hmm. and it's something that's maybe speaks a little bit more. Uh, maybe maybe speaks a little bit more beyond what Irwin's desire to kind of see the truth for himself. Maybe, but Armin's. Yeah. It's actually weird. I think the more I talk about it, the more I realize that they weren't trying to frame it as one's dream being better than the other. Right. It's just that if anything, that they were both so similar. You know. And yeah. and, and that maybe that was what gave Levi the belief that okay, yeah. maybe this kid can follow in Irwin's footsteps, you know, he can he can do what Irwin did. Um even yeah. if he does it in his own way and whatnot. Um, That's another thing. That's another thing. You know, whenever it comes down to those those moments of like who do we save and mm-hmm. it's you know the you know the railroad track scenario right, right. kind of thing uh-huh. but it's not a it's not a numbers game you're playing basically the value game right what you have here with with this is some people would debate basically that by the very nature of the fact that the other factors of value between the two of them are you know relatively along the same stream Uh uh-huh you just look at how many years you'd basically be able to get that value from the person and potentially when you'd get way more years out of that odds are than you would with armin wait sorry did i say erwin way more yeah sorry you get way less with Erwin than Mm -hmm. you would with armin and right and i don't think that's a good value judgment right because erwin does have the experience so it's like you know well no she just get the reward of it quicker Sure. The point I think they were trying to make was that there's a very real likelihood that 
at some point in Armin's future, he will become equal to or greater than Erwin. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the passing of the torch, torch to the next generation, and right, you know, yeah. yeah, and mm-hmm. and and yep. Levi, I think, was basically in the mood of, well, we need Erwin now, like we need Erwin now, right, and, and maybe, maybe it's the far sightedness versus the near sightedness of the, the dream that did have some play in it. Armin's is Armin's is far beyond even the walls, or even thinking about this conflict between. You know, mm-hmm. humans and titans and stuff is, let's go out and see the sea. Let's give people hope about this world rather than hope about basically a, a finite person. Sure. Because Erwin can't carry humanity forever. Neither could Armin. Right. But Armin's dream could carry humanity, I would say, longer than Erwin's could. If I that just, makes sense. Yeah. It's it's more it's more mm. eternal. It's more maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know because. But yeah, you could make a really good yeah. debate for the other side as well. Mm-hmm. But the point is, is that now we will not be seeing a titan with eyebrows, and that's sad. That. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we probably won't. <laughs> I mean, if they. <laughs> yeah. If they ever want to like dick with us, they could have. Some, you know, random titan with, like, really bushy black eyebrows or brown Mm. eyebrows. It's like, no, stop it. That's the wrong color. Red eyebrows, you know, and you're like, what? No. (laughs) Yeah. They were meant to be blonde. (sighs) Oh, my gosh. But this happened. And, yeah, I feel like it hit me the most after, like, once it was all over. Because it's the thing of, yeah, okay, we're we're here. Erwin charged. he, he, He gave his all. And now he's gone. Yeah. Oh. Rest in peace, buddy. I, yeah. mm-hmm. I, I feel, I feel like the show did a really good job of prepping me that he was gonna die. Yes. I feel like I was getting yes. death flags as early as season two, like, like, mm-hmm. and yeah, and it, and it's been something yeah. that mm-hmm. has been nice to kind of remind us that attack on titan's world is one that people are mortal yep and people mm-hmm. die that's right titans die right you know titan people die even if they maybe may need a little bit more persuading than uh this than is other true. people this is true mm-hmm. i am you're pretty pissed that i am Reiner i am away. i am astonished i am astonished that they went with this same tactic to have Reiner mm-hmm. get away as the right. Beast Titan. But so, I'm not I'm not disappointed in it because here's something mm-hmm. that's gonna maybe hurt a bunch of you who are Bertolt fans. Oh. But uh I find Reiner way more far compelling. more interesting than mm-hmm. Bertolt. Same and it's here. the curse of having Bertolt be the quiet person. Yes. If he's quiet, there's less time where Whereas he's Reiner talking. has a very aggressive obvious contradiction to his character that yep. makes it like and if uh, we get to explore it i want i want like y'all like this is this is huge this is like way way out of left mm-hmm. field but like reiner getting to survive this and it being a thing that like haunts you know john's memory of like you know i screwed oh up. yeah uh-huh i would love actually it to be a thing where it comes back around in a good way because on some level, on some level, Reiner's whole like story kind of mm-hmm. of being kind of the man lost in both worlds, basically, yeah. like doesn't know who he is and stuff and going on kind of that identity crisis mm-hmm. like journey of trying to basically hold on to a semblance of sanity and stuff. Yeah. I want them to go more into that. Like I want them to go and like give more to that. And yeah. if he's alive, hey, then we can actually get that. It's true. And the thing is, true. the thing is, is that like when they did that in season two, it was so just like, what? Right. But then you retroactively apply it to all the stuff in season one. Then you go, oh my God, it makes mm-hmm. perfect sense. Yep. If they can keep doing that with any of the characters that are on the with bad guy the side. Ha ha ha. On yeah. the bad guy's side, especially with uh, uh, especially with Zeke, because Zeke has like, there's like 
no specific character things about him that are like 100% defined at this point. Like, he has a couple of things that they've yeah. hinted at characterization Right, like, wise. this will be explored kind of a thing, but nothing nothing really yet. Well, right. I'm talking about, like, personality, not, like, plot things. The idea of him being connected to Grisha Yeager oh, is gotcha. a plot right. thing, uh-huh. but it's not a characterization thing. Sure. It's a, oh, by the way, we know I that he, your dad. We know that he cares about Aaron in some way, shape, or form, or at least pretends to. Uh, that, that was interesting. Yes, he said, I will come back and rescue you, Aaron. Right. I know what you're going through. Mm-hmm. That did seem quite empathetic. That's a good point. If he's empathetic to Aaron, what it probably was is that maybe on some level, huh? It's at the very least a great parallel between antagonist and protagonist, you know? Yeah. The idea of being like, ah, I understand you kind of a thing. And because it's mysterious with what is to back up that statement, there's the possibility that it might actually be able to be paid off on. Okay. As opposed to like a lot of the times when the antagonist would be like, oh, we're the same. And it's like, no, no, you can't just say that and have it be a great story element. You know, you have to actually make us believe it. Um, right. Yeah. This is actually kind of interesting. Just what? a crazy thought. But I like the idea of the beast titan, Zeke, Mm-hmm. and Grisha Jaeger being ones that were, like, advanced, advanced scouts. Ah, okay. So they would both... They were comrades were, in arms. They were comrades thing. in arms, and they were basically soldiers together, right? Mm-hmm. So Grisha's whole thing is he goes out, and, you know, he's he's got the ability to, you know, transform into a titan and stuff. Uh-huh. And he, you know, he goes into there and stuff like that, but he's got his... He's got his thing that he's doing. Now, the question is, is was that, like, his thing? Was he operating under orders? The thing that makes me wonder, like, whether or not actually it's his own thing is because of the whole thing with um, with Aaron. If he's, you know, basically, like, you know, taking the, the, the rice, you know, uh, you know, the, the god power or whatever like that oh uh-huh and he gives it to his kid that seems like something that like if he was a bad guy i would assume that he would want it for himself like selfishness is generally an attribute of the sure. you know antagonists and mm-hmm. stuff although and they, did, also, they did work it into Irwin very well yes yes that's true but also if he was doing this on some kind of like orders or something like that okay. i'm assuming then he would just you know leave because yes. because on some level him doing this around the time the titans attack mm-hmm. means that basically he uh he put it off if he was on orders or something like that oh. um you know until the time where it's like oh crap i need to actually like do the thing uh-huh. so it actually seems like more he's potentially someone that's out rogue doing his own thing gotcha and the reason why zeke is like he brainwashed you is that grisha is truly a third party and the beast titan is actually more more like on, the jack bauer type thing or right like, he's just like the general out there badass kind of guy uh-huh. jack of all trades the no, Rambo, not say jack of all trades but kind like, of the just a deep scout kind of uh-huh, person yeah and yeah he probably had some kind of rivalry or something like that maybe he maybe he was sent to try and go find uh grisha or something like that and that's why he's been out here for so long i I don't know who knows it's just crazy y'all there's 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 so so much that like they're still kind of like just peeling back little bits of and it's like oh that could tie to so many other things and then it's like that's all you get wait for the next episode yeah which which i was kind of surprised that like yes this was a big moment Mm -hmm. but like they dedicated oh, man. a whole episode. They dedicated to this. a whole episode to mm-hmm. it. Yep. And yeah. Basement's still out there. So mm-hmm. I guess that's next episode or the episode Who knows? After yeah, that. it would kind of make sense to have basement be after this since all threats seem to have 
either been eaten or run away. Yeah. But yeah. How many episodes left do we have? Either six or seven, I'm not sure. Whoa. Mm hmm. Whoa. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yep. So, like, we could get the basement in like one or two episodes and, and then, then, like, have humanity and then actually like, have move things with after. That. Like, oh my gosh. Y'all. Oh boy. Y'all, I'm hyped. Oh. I'm so hyped. Boy. Like, we have waited so long. We've waited so long. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll wait just a little bit longer. That's for, right. Uh, next week's episode. So, y'all, if you want to get involved in the discussion and everything regarding this episode, uh, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. Any level yes. of support gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with us about this show. Uh, you can chat with me in the anime only uh, section. You can chat with Jacob in the manga section. Indeed. And uh, he is, he is, you're quite active there. Yes, uh, not as active not as domestic as active girlfriend. Not as domestic girlfriend. Right, but, right. But yes, you want to talk about all this craziness and, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Go, go yep. check that yep. out. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of other stuff on there. So if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.